Today we're going to be talking about preserving and storing avocados. So, so yesterday, Mr. Homestead Pads brought home a big bag of avocados. I know it says garlic bread, but it's filled filled with avocados and I mean I have a lot of avocados let me show you so this whole bag was filled with avocados as you can see and then I've just got tons of avocados here on my counter so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about ways that you can ripen the avocados preserve the avocados and store the avocados now, if you have avocados that aren't ripe, there's a couple of ways that you can ripen them. The first thing is easy. You just put them on the uh, counter in your kitchen and they will ripen with time. But if you wanna preserve them a little bit quicker, just put them in a brown paper bag on your counter. The brown paper bag creates something called ethylene and it helps to ripen different kinds of fruit. And it does a great job with avocados. Now, on the same token, if you're like me and you have a ton of ripe avocados, you're going to have to figure out how to take care of them so that they don't all go bad, you know, at one time. So if you're not going to be using your ripe avocados within the next day or two, the best thing to do is to put them in a bag and stick them in the refrigerator. Now the refrigerator will slow the ripening process down, but still, if they're really ripe like these, you're gonna really have to take care of those in the next week. So my favorite way to preserve avocados is the freezer. It is amazing. And a lot of people don't realize that you can freeze avocados. So what I do is I freeze the avocados in pre-portioned containers in my refrigerator and in my freezer as guacamole. So let me show you how I do this and I'm gonna show you how I package them up and put them in the freezer. Now I actually have some bottled lemon juice, but I also have some fresh limes. And I actually prefer the limes in my uh, guacamole to anything else. I just, I love limes. I eat several of them a week. I just think they're absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to squeeze these limes to get all the juice out as possible. And then uh, I'll show you the next step. Now these avocados are so ripe, all I really have to do is squeeze them and all of the avocado comes right out of them. So I am going to work on cutting up as many of these as I think I'm gonna want for my freezer. I have uh, several of these I'm gonna put in another bag and take to my daughter-in-law. I know her and her mother uh, love having like guacamole and different things. And these avocados are very small. I don't really know where they were grown, but I'm not exaggerating. These are probably some of the best avocados I've ever had. They're just absolutely delicious avocados. There's just so much flavor in them. And this is a messy process. Be prepared. Your hands are gonna get messy. You're gonna get a little bit, you know, dirty doing this, <laughs> but it works out okay. Now, if you don't wanna put these avocados in a guacamole, you can actually preserve them in the freezer or the refrigerator like this. Now you'll wanna treat them with some kind of a lemon or a lime, and you also wanna make sure that they're stored really tight because anything that gets avocado, any kind of avocado that gets oxygen on it is gonna start browning. And it also helps if you leave the pits in them. Now I don't need to do that because I'm gonna take the air out of my bags. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a few minutes. It. Uh, the process that I have works really good for me. So what are some things that you guys do to help preserve your different kinds of vegetables and fruits and things like that? Now I'm making guacamole, so this isn't gonna really pertain to me, but say you wanted to put some of this avocado on maybe a BLT or something like that. One way that you can do that is just slice right into the skin of your avocado. You can go around it either with a knife or a spoon just like so. And then you see you've got your, your avocado is all set up in slices for your, 
for your sandwich. Now for me, it works easier if I just squeeze everything out of these. I've actually cut several of these and I am just gonna get all this lovely avocado out and then I'm going to turn this into the most delicious guacamole you've ever had. And it's gonna be just as good when it comes out of the freezer as the day that it went in. It's gonna be absolutely yummy and delicious. Now this one has a little dark spot on it. I wanted to show this to you. All we're gonna do is just cut that off. You can see the rest of the avocado is just fine. Now an important thing to be careful of when you're going through and getting all of your avocados squeezed or cut out of your skins, make sure to get these little stems that are usually at the top of the avocados out. Those are really, really hard. And sometimes, you know, you can actually break a tooth or something like that. So just be really careful when you're going through and doing that. So the next step I'm gonna do, you can either use a potato masher. I actually just like to put this in my KitchenAid and get it all mixed up. So I just turn this on low and I let the KitchenAid do all the work. Voila, that's so easy. <laughs> So a good rule of thumb to making the perfect guacamole is about five avocados to about five teaspoons of lemon or lime juice. So now all I'm gonna do is add my other ingredients. So I have about a cup of shredded cilantro here. I'm just gonna put all of that into my bowl like so. I love cilantro, I love lime. I've got my lime juice. I'm gonna put that directly in here. I've got a couple of uh, onions that I've chopped up. These are onions out of my garden. I've got some red and a yellow onion. I'm gonna put those in there. I like the red ones for color. These are very strong onions. And then I always put a uh, tomato in mine. So I had a tomato out of my garden. I didn't grow any romas this year and those are really the best ones to put in because you don't have a lot of juice. So I just cut up my tomato and I let it juice while I'm making my guacamole and I get rid of that. So all I'm gonna do is throw those in there like so. And then I'm gonna put in some salt Good swish of it, about a teaspoon or so. I'm gonna put in a little bit of garlic. Now this is garlic with parsley. If you prefer fresh garlic, you go right ahead and then some fresh cracked pepper. And usually what I do when I bring the guacamole out and I defrost it, I go ahead and re-season it. So it may need some more salt and pepper later, but this is how I do it. And I just make sure it's all mixed up really good. Oh, that smell is amazing. All right, that's it. That's all we do. Now I'm gonna show you how I package this up for the freezer. So to preserve your guacamole in the freezer, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can either use a Ziploc bag in which you'll just put all of your guacamole inside of the bag and just get all of the air out by pushing the air out and seal it. Now I actually have a food saver which you know kind of a vacuum sealer so I typically put my food uh, in there so I've got some bags all labeled and ready to go. So all I'm doing is just putting my guacamole in the bags like so. I try not to get it on the edges there because that just makes it a little bit harder when you're trying to seal these. But uh, I don't usually have too much trouble with these. These seal up pretty good. And honestly, I've had this thing for like 15 years. I, I've used it to death. And I wait until I can find the bags on sale different places. Or, you know, if I have a gift card I get from someone, sometimes I'll, I'll go ahead and do something like that. I'll just buy bags with it. I mean, these are things I need and use. So, all right, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in this one that gives me four bags. 
And then I'm gonna put a little bit in a container and I'm gonna have some tonight. This is my little container. And I'm just gonna pour some of this guacamole right in there. Now, if this doesn't all fit, I'll have to put a little bit more in some of those bags, but it's gonna be about perfect. Oh, yummy. Can't wait for dinner. I think I have some leftover enchilada casserole. I think I'll go ahead and put that in there. So let me just put the rest of it in this one. This one looks a little bit smaller than the rest. Now, if you wanna put more or less or what have you, I actually have uh, you know my kids and grandkids over and uh, this is a great thing to serve, even at the holidays or whatever. It's gonna stay you know, really nice in your freezer for a long time. So I was able to get four bags of guacamole. This is how mine come out in the food saver. They're completely flat. I take all the air out of them and I freeze them flat like that. And then I have one for tonight and I'm gonna enjoy that with dinner. So I hope that this video is helpful to you. I hope that you learned something and maybe you'll give it a try. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and ring the bell if you wanna hear uh, future videos. I'd be happy to send them to you. So have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.